They're fast but silent and don't release any emissions. Electric bikes are leading a whole new generation of racers onto the track. We head down to the Willow Springs Raceway to find out more about these silent speedsters. It's quiet, smooth acceleration, instant torque. Uh, our, our motorcycles, the stock motorcycles off the production line, are doing over 100 foot-pounds of torque. And to get one of these bikes going, all you need to do is charge it. How convenient is it? You get home, you plug it in, and you got a full charge in the morning. It's, 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 a, it's the ultimate luxury. Hollywood Electrics has a lot to offer compared to gas-powered bikes. They specialize in electric bikes and aftermarket performance parts. There's no shifting, there's no clutch. You have a much different torque curve. You have more torque available from very low RPM, so a lot of acceleration. Clark says it allows him to focus on the race. Instead of gas, these bikes use battery packs, which take about eight hours to charge on a household outlet, but they use superchargers on race days. So what that allows us to do is to charge much faster. The bikes have a 150 mile range and a small dashboard that tells the rider what's going on. Saturday's race is one out of 10 in the historic cup series put on by the American Historic Racing Motorcycle Association, something we got a front row seat to. You don't hear them. We often joke that the starter should say, on your mark, set, go, because they'd actually hear you saying it. Although these bikes are silent, you can expect to see more and more of them on racetracks. I think it will grow. I think we'll see a lot more of it. I don't think it'll be taking over the club, but I think the class will be a good solid class and we'll see electric bikes racing from now on. The person leading the charge in bringing electric bikes to the track is Arthur Kowitz, who has a love for road racing. After some years, technology finally caught up to a point where I could have big fun without making big poison. And uh, so I've taken two of my passions, put them together, retired my gasoline race bike, and uh, started something I thought needed starting. He launched the E-Moto Racing Series, which he says is catching on. It's been well received. The skeptics have been coming over and nodding their heads instead of shaking their heads. We're excited to have new bikes and young racers and another class, and we want to keep the organization growing. At Saturday's event, there were a total of seven electric bike racers. Not bad for a new racing class.